Tifimo Lopez calls out the winner of the Pitbull Cruz versus Wally Romero fight. Now, let me remind you, if Tifimo Lopez beats the winner of this fight, he will have two belts at 140 pounds. But can he actually beat them? Yes, and I'll tell you why. Because Isaac Cruz's latest performance against Giovanni Cabrera, he did absolutely trash in that fight. And the only good fighter that he has beaten is Gamboa. It's cringeworthy from our standpoint. Big right hook. Down goes Gamboa. End it. Now, Wally Romero has beaten complete nobodies. And not only that, but his latest performance, he got dropped and almost lost to an old man. Compared to Tifimo Lopez, his latest performance against Jermaine Ortiz was absolutely incredible. And not only that, but Tifimo Lopez has beaten legends like Lomachenko and Josh Taylor. Now, though Tifimo Lopez might have not said that he wants the winner between Pibble Cruz and Rolly Romero, his dad definitely did as he was asked in an interview about his opinion on the fight. And what you said, whoever the winner of that fight is, they're definitely ready for the winner. So this fight just makes a lot of sense since his dad said they do want to unify all the belts at 140 and here's the thing i do believe that this fight will happen only because why would tefima lopez want to skip over an easy fight and for a title and the reason i say an easy fight is because i believe that tefima lopez is the king at 140 and pitbull cruz and rolly romero are definitely not meant for 140 now let's move on to something that tefima lopez did say about the fight between rolly romero and pitbull cruz and that is that he said that rolly romero is coming off a serious back injury that nobody knows about but he definitely does so why not expose it as he believes that pitbull cruz can use it to his advantage and another thing that he stated is that he doesn't like the way the card is being called as he believes that it doesn't make sense that it's called by their nicknames instead it should be called by the first and last names and what you said that obviously that shows that that side doesn't know what they're doing and he believes that it's going to be a massive flop but to end it off the other thing that Tefimo Lopez did say is that everybody's coming to 140 for a reason and that is because he took out the big king Josh Taylor but he said that still nobody seems to be interested in fighting them